kwanza kabisa ninasikia uzito sana kusema ukweli kujibishana na chama ndogo kama ANC kusema ukweli si wati mimi naonea hawa mbaya kusema ukweli kwa sababu mimi natoka kwa chama kubwa sana ya ODM siwezi kujibishana na chama ya watu kumi watu tisa nane hapo hiti ni aibu kubwa lakini wamezungumza sasa kwa muda mrefu na tulikuwa tunafikiri watanyamasa ili tuendelee sasa na maisha chama ambaye ilishinda kiti ya matungu kwa njia ya utata na njia ya shida na walisema hiyo ndo strongol yao strongol yako unafanya fujo unaleta kelele unaibiwa shilingi milioni mbili siku ya mazishi so i mean siku ya siku ya uchaguzi unapiga kelele ndani ya gari pesa ni yangu pesa ni yangu na huko ni strongol yako tulipoangalia mambo kama hiyo hatukua tunataka kujibishana na ANC lakini waka, nataka niombe kiongozi ya ANC aite hao wabunge wachache ambao yako nae bungeni into order kwa sababu they are now becoming disorderly nimeona mheshimiwa malala akisema ya kwamba kwa nini ametolewa kama naibu wa kiongozi ya 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 ya, ya senate ANC wako na senate statu peke yake in the whole republic of kenya mmoja ako katika public service parliamentary service commission sasa unataka kuniambia unataka kuniambia unataka hizo tatu yote ANC wakuwe viongozi ndani ya bunge kwani vyama vingine vimekufa you come with three senators and you want all those senators to be in position of leadership how can it happen so ametolewa kwa sababu ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila mtu amepata nafasi yake na haki yake ndani ya senate jambo la pili ni ya kwamba yeye yeah, anasema ya kwamba oh ODM wana huju msiju BBI ODM msiju wana huju wana huju muni BBI ni product ya Hanshe na Hanshe ilikuwa kati ya president Uhuru Kenyatta na prime minister Raila Odinga si kuona siku hiyo kama msaidi amesindikisa eh siku hiyo alitoroka sasa asituletee hapa ati oh ODM amefanya nini ODM amefanya nini jambo la pili wakati yeye malala alikuwa anapinga revenue sharing formula hakujua president Uhuru alikuwa anataka support kama zukuya aliama Kenya alikuwa analia hapa ndani ya Senate kama mtoto ambaye amepigwa sisi tunataka hii vyama wakae na heshima tumechoka sasa tumechoka kwa sababu kila saa kazi yao imekuwa ODM hii ODM ile ODM vivi Raila hile Raila hili hawana ajenda nyingine ya kuambia wa Kenya sasa hii wanalia juu ya Oparanya governor Oparanya governor Oparanya ndio governor ya Kakamega na hakuna siku atabadilika paka amalize wakati yake. Kwaso yeye kuishi na yeye. Alichaguliwa na wananchi. Alipata kura nyingi kushinda gavana wa ANC ambaye alisimama pale. Sasa wanataka gavana Paranya afanye nini? Ahame akuje Nairobi. Atoke Kakamega. Hii watu tunataka kuanzia leo wakae na heshima. Na kama hawatakae na heshima, sasa watakuja kujua ODM ni nani hapa Kenya. Tulikuwa tumetunza hao kama wadogo yetu watoto wadogo wadogo yetu wenzetu wadogo tulikuwa tunalea hawa tulikuwa tunalisha hawa kama watoto sasa nionekana mtoto ameshindwa ame kujua baba yake ni nani sasa tutaonyesha yeye kwa nguvu baba yake ni nani hiyo <laughs> watoto yuko ndani ya NASA wamesahau wame kila saa oh dia mindo hii oh dia mindo na sisi tumenyamasa tu tunyamasa paka lini sasa mimi nataka kusema ya kwamba sisi hatuna shida na mtu yeyote sisi hatuna shida na chama yeyote wanaweza form coalition ile wanataka hiyo sasa ni constitutional democracy yao constitutional democratic right yao hatuwezi kuzuia hawa kwanza walikuwa wametuambia NASA hawezi NASA bado iko kwa sababu ili NASA ifunjwe lazima chama tatu watoke sasa chama tatu wameform one Kenya alliance that means NASA is dead si hao wenyewe wameform coalition nyingine si ODM ODM bado iko kwa NASA. Hakuna siku tumetangaza kama ODM sisi tumetoka hatujaandikia political party registrar ya kwamba tumetoka NASA. Wale wametoka NASA ni wale wameform one Kenya Alliance ama two Kenya Alliance. Sijui naitwa nini. Sasa mimi kwa kumalizia ni nipatie wenzangu nafasi ya kuzungumza. Ni ya kwamba tafadhali sisi ni chama kubwa katika nchi ya Kenya. Tuko na zaidi 
ya wabunge mia moja ukiweka pamoja na National Assembly na Senate tusirudishwe kwa kiwango ya vyama ya watu kumi tafadhali tafadhali tuheshimiane bwana vyama ambaye wako na wabunge kumi siji nane tuheshimiane bwana heshima sio utumwa bwana hii madharau waache ya kuzungumza juu ya ODM ni wananchi ndio wamechagua ODM wakakuwa wengi hiyo tumepata kura ya kutosha tukachaguliwa na wabunge zaidi ya mia pamoja na Senate na National Assembly tusirudishwe mabishano na vyama ndogo ndogo ambaye sisi tulikuwa tuna tunakaa na hawa kama ndugu zetu na sio tafadhali from today if we don't get respect as we deserve from those so called parties small parties we will deal with them in accordance with the way we know best as ODM wewe unataka ukuo kiongozi ya senate kiongozi ya senate na watu wawili si wende uchagulie kwanza watu kama kumi ndio kuja kwe unataka kuongeza nani mko wawili sasa wewe unataka kuwa deputy minority leader Wat, na mwenzako ni moja katika ANC unataka kuongoza nani whom do you want to lead in the, in the in the in the senate if you are two people you want to lead your partner you are your second senator so kwa hiyo machache na mingi mimi nimesikia vile wameongea hapa na mimi nataka kuambia hao kwa kumalizia ya kwamba ODM is here to stay. ODM is the largest party in the Republic of Kenya. ODM is the op official opposition leader in parliament. ODM is the one that made handshake with with President Uhuru Kenyatta and we are ready to support that handshake to the end. We will support BBI to the end. Exactly. Watu ambao wamekuja juzi juzi wasitishe sisi bana. Watu ambao wamekuja juzi juzi wasitishe sisi bana. Sisi ndio tulijua uh, Hansi kimetoka wapi na BBI imetoka wapi. Tusitishwe. Tumevumilia tumenyamasa. Wanafikiri sisi ndugu yangu. When ODM speaks you know who is speaking. The country is speaking, not small parties like Savula and these kind of people. So kwa hiyo machache tuheshimiane. Heshima sio utuma tuheshimiane tafadhali. Karibu bana. No, ongeza kidogo bana. Tu ongeza. One thing I want to say is the way to grow a political party is to focus on specific agendas. And ODM cannot and must not be the agendas for all the other political parties. There seems to be a consolidated effort by all the other political parties to try to go against ODM. ODM, ODM, ODM all the time. I think BBI was to unite Kenyans and BBI for all the Ke was for all Kenyans. So why is it that parties like ANC would fight tooth and nail to make sure that ODM is out of that BBI battle so that they can find a seat at the table. There's a seat for everybody in, on that table. They don't have to try to push out ODM. ODM is a supporter and a proponent of BBI and we will never, never move in order to give space for ANC. Parties that have no conviction because OB ODM has been convicted right from the start to support BBI and we will not move out of this table to create space for them. So crying, being baby cries about ODM is not the agenda that will grow those small parties. They need to fight, find other agendas that will grow their parties. Yes. 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 The Secretariat is operating and functioning very well, number one. And secondly, don't push ODM out of BBI by force. There are forces who have, small boys who have come to town now, who really want to push ODM out of BBI. I don't know for what reason. ODM is one of the parties that have huge stake in the BBI as a party. How do you walk out of your own agenda? How do you walk out on your own, you know, constitutional amendment bill? I represent ODM as a co-chair in the secretariat. Have I resigned from the secretariat? No. ODM is strong. ODM is supporting the BBI and ODM will support the handshake. Those people who are dreaming that 
ODM will walk out of Sijui what? Those are old way of doing things. We are we are beyond that you know, that era now. We are past that era, I mean. How when you come a fisi, ambaye wanangoja, wanatembea nyuma ya handshake na BBI, wanafikiri mukono itaanguka. Watangoja. Watangoja paka, paka dunia yijia. Hakuna siku tutawachana na BBI, na hakuna siku tutawachana na handshake. Na hakuna siku tutawachana na agenda ya kuunganisha wa Kenya. Kwa sababu hiyo ndo mana ya handshake, na hiyo ndo mana ya BBI. Hakuna siku. Kama unangoja hiyo ifanyike ili ukuwe rais, vile mina wana wengine wanalealia hapa. Mutangoja hapa. Hiyo ni kama ile yenu ya zamani ambayo mulijaribu muka muka anguka nae. So, hakuna siku. As With a proponent the... of the BBI process, are you concerned that there are possible sort of machinations to delay the process, looking at the court decision and then of course the joint uh, jailer committee, also the, the meetings are... Are you concerned? No, that... I am not concerned in any way because the committee, the jailer committee is doing their work. They are doing their work in accordance with the standing orders and the constitution. In the end, they will present a report to the to, to parliament, both the National Assembly and the Senate. So there is no cause for alarm. There is no cause to worry. And the courts will they, they will take their own decision. And they I know they are cognizant of the fact that this is a Kenyan-driven agenda. Yes, it's, a popular. it's a popular initiative. So the courts are not living in vacuum. They are living in Kenya. So I expect them to make their own decision, which is, uh, which is based on justice. So the BBI is on course. Reggae is on course. And I can tell you, latest by July, God willing, we are going to have a referendum in Kenya. With the I can tell you for free, with as the co-chair of the Secretariat. With the Oster of Malala, maybe, are we expecting maybe a, a ODM ex extending to Junior, Mutula Junior, maybe? No, 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 no. Those are issues that are relating to the Senate. Stop, stop, you know, tomorrow you will say, are you extending the disciplinary of uh, Malala to Junet? Don't make your own conclusions. Mm -hmm. Malala has been removed based on gross misconduct and indiscipline. Uh, not you know a character that is not showing leadership is a character because how do you beat up people in an election sure how and you create violence like a goon then you call yourself a leader what kind of leader is that so please we are not extending to anyone we are not in a war with anyone we are not fighting anyone as odm we are just doing our work as a party